Right, we're going to set up this Rhino Pack date code printer. We start with inserting a fully charged battery into the bottom of the machine. And we press the start button, this red button in the back of the machine, to boot it. Wait for it to boot up. Right, once the machine is booted, the next step will be to set the date and time on this machine. At the bottom here we see it's it is 12 02 2016. You want to get today's date, it's 21 07 2020. To do that, we'll go into settings, the system settings. We'll see the date and time. We won't worry about the time, we'll just work on the date. So we just make a mark. On the, on the year and we add the add years on until we get to 2020 and make a mark next to 2 we want to change to 7 so we'll add that up to 7 make a mark on the 12 which we want to change to 21 and we bring that up to 21 right once we've got the, the date reading as it is there press OK and we'll have today's date on the bottom of the screen. Right now to set up uh, best before date, production date, best before date and batch number so we can print three lines or you can print one line or two lines. Let's just set it up with three lines. So we'll start by having to open a new file. So we press edit, edit single file. We go to text we want to have a, a, a bb we want to have a, a bn and a, pd standing for production date so we'll go to text we have input text we can at the, on in this window this red window yeah just put a mark there press edit and we can remove where it says input text by pressing that back delete button so that, that it is now clear there. Let's put a capital BB so we in uppercase have BB it says BB there, finish. Then we will have BB on the screen. We can move that around by touching it to highlight it. And then you can move it around with your pen or your finger. You can move the screen backwards and forwards there. Right, so we just put that out of the way over there. Now we want to have a, a BN. So we follow the same procedure. We press text. Put a mark in that window. Press edit. Remove that input text. In uppercase, we have a B, N, it says B, N there, finish. So we have a B, B, we have a B, N, and now we have a production date. We'll call it P, D. Right, we get there, we touch text. Mark it there, edit. We have PD, PD. Remove that input text. And finished. We have our PD. To reduce the size of these letters, um, let's say down to a size that you're probably going to print on your bottle. We can we highlight the the letters. We go to size on the screen. Reduce it by pressing minus. Pull it goes down to seventy five. Let's take it up to ninety three. 
so you can see it easier. Right, so you've got that, you do this and maybe change the font. I prefer this Calibri font, it's nice and clear on, on the print. Right, let's change that to the same, change the font to Calibri, change the size down to 93. Do the same to that. Font to Calibri, change the size down to 93. Right, so we, now we have a production date, which will be today's date. We have a best before date, which we're going to set for about about six months in the future. And we have our batch number. You don't need to have all these, but just for the point of this exercise, we'll do that. Right, so let's start with our production date which is today's date so we will go the, the production date will automatically every day it will it will automatically update itself you will just have to set today's date um, when you switch your machine on um, and you go into the, the the settings the system settings but let's start with production date so you'll go time We have today's date. We'll change it to Calibri and we'll change it down to 93. Right, there's today's date. We'll have best before date. We'll get a time. We'll go to user define. Right, so here we have today's date and the time. We want to remove that time there. So we just go here by the hour, pressing the down arrow, cancel, minute, cancel, second, cancel. So now we just got today's date. And you can change, you can put the date in front and the year at the back where you can change the orientation of that by changing the sorting over here. So we for instance if we go if we go plus over there and plus again it'll bring 2020 there. If we go plus there it will bring the month to the center and the date to the front. And then we just need to get rid of that arrow and have that arrow transferred that side, which we can do there. Um, by cancelling that, we remove that. We can remove that space and put a. So there we have 2107 2020. But then we'll also have to change our, our production date. So let's just keep it like that. So we've got today's date there. We want to go six months into the future. So we go to the months column. And we add valid time, we increase that to six, six months, so it's 21 January 01, 2021. It's okay. So now we've got that there. Let's just get it into the same font and the same size as the rest of the system here. Right, we have a best before date. You'll notice now I've got 20 instead of that way, that way around. Um, we can change this one as well. So you go into that, we can go here which says type, year, month, day. Let's change that to month, day, year. Okay, there we've got month, day, year. So we'll keep it like that. Move that into there. With these you can, if you're not very steady to line this up, you can do lining up if you highlight it. 
get lined up in the X and Y axis over here. So by moving on that Y axis, moving letters up, you want to move it over a bit to, to that side. You can either go that way or you can go back that way to get it lined up nicely and neatly. Okay, let's put a batch number there. So we've got production date, best before date, which is six months in advance. Batch number. So now we'll go to text, input text, put a marker there, edit, delete input text. And let's call our batch number one, two, three, four, ABC. So we go one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, A, B, C. Before A, B, C, finish. Okay, let's change the font. Change the size. Right, there we've got our batch number. So we put in there, bring it up to, to line up with the rest of the stuff. Okay, that looks more or less in line, so I'll just keep it like that. Now we need to save this to a file. If we're happy with all the information that we have there, we go down to File, and File, Save As, let's call it EXP Date 2. EXP space date so 2 so if you call this file exp date 2 ok we've got that as well as a file that we want to get out we need to get out of the screen before we can start using it Just file exit right now we're back on our, our initial screen our home screen to find that file we press in the default box okay we find our file exp day 2 highlight there press ok there's our file ready for for printing now before we start printing we need to insert the cartridge which we will take a cartridge remove the cover this cover must always be kept on the cartridge if it's not in use so remove the cover Take a piece of soft cloth or tissue. Uh, you can have a bit of alcohol on you or metal and spirits. Just wipe the face of the cartridge. Make sure that it's clean. Remove any dried ink that might be stuck on there. Insert the cartridge into the printer. Okay, make sure it's clicked in position properly. Right, now we want to, we'll just do a hand I'll print just to check the writing on, on this um, that we've programmed into the machine. So we have to press print. And when the print box turns black, then it's ready to print. We are at the moment set up. We're going to print settings. I can see I'm I've set up in print mode key trigger with sync encoder, that is these wheels over here and, and this trigger mechanism over here so but you won't use this mode if you're running this machine on, on a conveyor with bottles passing it let's press ok it's in print mode so now I'll just put it down right, here you can see the printing we just programmed onto the machine if you're happy with that on your bottles then we'll stick with that now we want to use this, this printer in conjunction with a conveyor so we have two methods of activating the printer with a bottle passing it on a conveyor the first method is an external sensor which is the yellow sensor provided with the machine which plugs into the back of the machine and then the sensor will be positioned somewhere along opposite or, or next to or above this machine to, to see the bottle as it passes and then relay a message to the machine. 
or we can set it up with an internal sensor which is situated here and then the bottles have to be passing from this direction in front past the, the machine to, to do the print. So what we'll do now, we'll just set the internal sensor. Um, right, now, now once we've, we have our, our information set that we need to print onto our bottle, um, we will need to set the the sensor that's going to activate the printer as the bottle passes. Right, to do this we have two sensor positions. We have the external sensor which is the yellow sensor provided with the machine which plugs into the back here and we have an internal built-in sensor which is situated on the front of the printer. Right, to use this internal sensor the bottle has to pass in this direction first pass the sensor then pass the printing head right if you use the external sensor the sensor can be positioned anywhere around the front of the machine to see the bottle as it passes for the purpose of this exercise we will set up for the internal sensor to do that we go to settings we go to print settings we go to print mode and press the down arrow on print mode and you'll see all your options here key trigger internal sensor external sensor and automatic so internal sensor we will highlight internal sensor if we were going to use the yellow external sensor we would highlight the external sensor so it reads external sensor in the box but we are going to set it for internal sensor which I'll highlight then it says internal sensor in the box make sure sync encoder is unticked once you have got that you press OK right now the machine is ready for printing on the internal sensor the machine must be placed in this bracket on the conveyor and it must be set up for the bottle to pass not more than five millimeters in front of the sensor the closer the better but just it just must not touch the bottle you can also set it up at a slight angle if you want to print on the top of the bottle there or the best place is on the side of the bottle wherever you, you need right so once your machine is positioned on the conveyor you'll press print and wait for print to turn black then you can have your bottle place a bottle on a conveyor and run it past and see where it prints for the for this purpose i'm going to just run the bottle sideways right I can see it's printing near the bottom of the bottle there okay to to set the width of your print if it is printing too wide you will turn print off go to settings print settings you go to speed so you need to reduce the speed So I'll take it down to about 5 for this situation. Press OK. If you want to reduce the, the height of your letters, then you, you need to, to go onto the screen and highlight each section of, of the print and reduce the size of the letters. But for this purpose, we, we will now reduce the, the speed to 5. This will depend on the speed of your conveyor, how quick it's moving past the, the printer. Okay, I'll press print. Ready for, now we're ready. Place a bottle on the conveyor, let it pass. 
Now, as you can see, the print has become smaller. So you can carry on with this until you have your right, the right size of your print. Remember that each time before if the cartridge, the machine has been standing without use for more than five minutes before you start up, just wipe the, the cartridge to remove any excess hardened ink that may have accumulated there. And you'll see you'll get a nice clear print after you've done that. Then, if you need to set the position of your print so that it, it prints in the center of your bottle as it passes the cartridge, you need to set the timing between the, the sensor picking up the bottle and the machine printing. To do that, we'll turn printing off, we'll go to settings, we'll go to print settings, and we'll go to here where it says interval. Right, you can either, you can move the, 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 the print position on your bottle left or right until you find the position that it prints in the center of your bottle. So, let's say if I bring that down to zero. Okay, we'll see where that prints on the bottle. Remember, I'm just passing this by hand, so it might not be very accurate. Prints on. I'll just pass the bottle in front. Right, so I see, you'll see it printed far to the one side. So we need to move it over to the other side. So we turn printing off, go to settings, go to print settings, and interval, we'll take it up to 10. 10, okay. Print. Let's pass the bottle in front again. There we sort of now coming towards the center, slightly off, but still a bit more to the opposite side. So we can go back to settings, print settings, and then take it back down to run about eight. Okay, let's print again. Then we pass another bottle on the conveyor. Right, and you carry on this.